Kaoru Ishibashi is probably one of the best musicians you've never heard of. One of the painful realities of the music industry is that incredibly talented musicians live in obscurity, while sometimes relative mediocrity parades around under the bright lights of fame and wealth. Performing as Kishibashi, he takes live looping and experimental pop to new heights of harmonic and melodic beauty. It's sad to think that when Ed Sheeran bangs on his guitar a few times and layers a chord progression, the world gapes in awe, totally unaware of what those pushing the limits of looping are doing away from the global spotlight. Kishibashi started his solo career in 2012 with the album 151A, in Japanese Ichigo Ichie, which means One Time, One Place. There are so many great tracks on this album. It All Began With A Burst and I Am The Antichrist To You were used on the soundtrack to the cult surf classic film View From A Blue Moon and perfectly suit the otherworldly feel of the cinematography. I Am The Antichrist To You was later re-recorded with the new Deco Ensemble, reinvented for orchestra. Kishibashi's falsetto sits on top of the lush textures beautifully. Definitely check it out. Like, maybe now. Yeah, now. Just stop this video, go watch that video, then come back. Then if you like surfing, watch View From A Blue Moon. Even if you don't like surfing, you'll like surfing by the time it's over. I'll wait. One of my favorite things about Bright Whites is the disjointed beginning of the studio version. It begins rhythmically all over the place, when an almost frantic vocal line comes in sung in Japanese. At about 25 seconds, things begin to settle. Then, when we think we know where we are, the English lyrics come in, and we suddenly realize that the beats are backward, that what we thought was the upbeat is the downbeat, and vice versa. <laughs> This is called rhythmic displacement and he uses it again at the end of the song in a different way. The whole atmosphere of the beginning is chaos slowly giving way to order. And if you're too
For most of his solo career, Kishibashi has been a genuine solo artist, conjuring up textures and worlds of sound with a violin, a mic, and looper pedal. So the studio offers him the chance to do things in different ways, with different instruments and arrangements. Of course, this also means that the studio version and the live version are sometimes quite different. I discovered Kishibashi through his studio work, and so had the added pleasure of being astounded to discover his live work, a fair bit of which can be found on YouTube, and I'll provide links below. In the Kishibashi, you listen to the sound of someone whose culture straddles the Pacific from Okinawa to the Pacific Northwest, a classically trained violinist living in the world of pop. All of those influences are vividly on display in everything he does, from failed attempts at beatboxing, <laughs> to playing concertmaster in an orchestra playing his own music. Maybe he's just too eclectic to make it big in the mainstream. I often wonder why some musicians remain on the fringes while others rise dramatically, seemingly for little reason. The music industry in the past few decades has become notoriously cautious to the point of inertia. Maybe artists like Kishibashi simply dare too much. Long may that continue. After all, without bravery, art is nothing. <laughs> 